There we go. So first off, we need to create the uh, the, sh the shade in uh, underneath there to create the uh, the thing of lifting. So right now we're going to create a new layer above the seven itself. Um, we'll drop it in below the actual. We'll drop it in below the actual uh, the number seven, so we can paint behind it. And we're going to get an, a rough brush about rough about forty five to sixty. Uh, we'll set it black. I'm going to zoom in it quite a lot for this. And we want to start painting roughly so it builds up towards this point here. As you can see, the shade builds up towards the actual cove of the, the seven. So we're going to just do it as best as we can and quite fast and rough here. Just to show you, just to give you an example. But take some time with this part. Just to make it look ten times better if you do it properly. And slowly just fade it off. So all the way down to the point. Just going to fade it off. Uh, eventually just build build it up. Just get it right. Okay, that's fine there. They're nice and rough right now as I'm doing it. Just so we can get the idea of how we should do it. It should be a steady line, so right now it's a bit lumpy and a bit everywhere. Just, just, just generally build up and we'll do more over here. We'll zoom out a bit. So you can get an idea of that. Um, we just want to clear up the actual, you can see over here, the the top part over there, just, we can clear it by getting the razor out. It's going to get rid of that. There will be shadow down there later, but we want to make it more uniform by getting rid of this now. And we'll fix it by getting proper shadow. Um, so we'll go back. Let's take a look. So we'll add, we might want to add a tiny bit more shade. We'll, we'll see in a sec what it's going to look like. So just add, add more depth. Better. So I'm gonna just get my uh, tablet out and see if I can get do it better with this guy. It's lumpy as anything. Like take your time with this because it looks tons better. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you just for rough, but this is what we're gonna end up with um, roughly. So we'll get rid of the seven. It's rough as, but we'll get rid of that soon. Um, You'll see in a sec. So right now we want to um, fade it off as they do. They kind of fade off the uh, the uh, shadow. So right now we're going to go and uh, apply a gradient to it. Um, so we'll zoom out again so we can just see it. So it's a gradient. We're going to use black to white like that, like they do. Um, but we're going to change it a bit. We're going to make it uh, a darkish kind of grey, um, just so we can get it highlighting. And we're going to uh, just roughly set it in, uh, so it, uh, forms like that. So it's kind of black, most black in the, uh, the peak. So we'll just muck around with it, see if you can get it right. Just much evenly, so you have grey at, uh, grey at the left side and grey at the bottom as well. I'm just trying to get it roughly even. Roughly about here for me seems to be good. It's about 180. Looks perfect around there. Um, we can change if you want it a bit darker if you need to. We'll see in a sec if you need to add in more. And uh, we're going, what we're going to do is going to create another layer on top of that. And we're going to shift um, click both of them. So we have both of them selected. Control E or we can go up to layer and merge like we did last time. And now we've done that. Change this to... Uh, soft light. As you can see, it's very softly made it a bit darker, a bit more shade. So, we're, like I said, probably need more than that. It's gonna get add some more. Just really get a highlight. 
Yeah, there. Should be too much on the top over here. It's always a racer. But just really do your best to see if you can get that, that field like something similar to that. Um, we'll go back to the zoom in. So now we want to first off create a soft, a very soft uh, outline just around the back, just to kind of give it more detail around there. So we're gonna, um, we're gonna go. Uh, we're going to get rid of that. First of all, we probably want to um, smooth this out a bit. So we're going to control click the 7 layer, like we did before. We can go to the path and control click that. So we're going to go and select the, uh, the the shadow layer and just delete it. So now we have a shadow like that. And as you can see, we have already kind of shadow running there. If we just want to get erase that part, get rid of those parts around the thing so we can create a more uniform one later, like later on. Um, put the 7 back on. So now we're going to um, highlight that 7 again. I'm going to create a new layer. Uh, I'm going to fill this in uh, with black. doesn't really matter with anything pretty much you want. Uh, just Okay, so I've got that layer now. Um, I'm going to go down to... Well, we're going to double-click this layer first. And we're going to go out to blending options. We're going to bump the passive all the way down. And then we're going to go into add glow, sorry. I'm going to create this normal. Put it on black. We're gonna create the size down. We're gonna create the size up a bit because we're just need us and like kind of, kind of uh, f furry, or feathered a bit, and we're gonna drop the opacity down quite a lot, maybe a bit higher, and we'll drop this down a bit because we just need it. Just need a slight outline around it. Um. Okay, with that selected, it'll put the number seven back on. Um, now I'm just gonna add more detail. So we want to get rid of the uh, the, the shadows that goes towards the uh, the highlights. So we're gonna get the razor again, and we're just gonna erase a bit of that shadow going towards it. First of all, we need to uh, make it a la another layer um, on itself again. So we're gonna go create another layer, select that, Control E again to um, emerge them again, and we're just gonna go and get rid of some of this towards the point and the back of the uh, thing. You probably want to use a fairly large um, with the flow down of it so we can crank this down towards the ends of it further just so that it drops the opacity a bit for a bit. 